Nearly got that one. Takes all, and here is your host, Jimmy Tava. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Good evening, and welcome to your favourite quiz, or so they tell me, Winner Takes All, where the contestants, as you know, have a wonderful knowledge of general knowledge and have now got to have a knowledge of gambling. Let's meet them tonight Mrs. Wendy Smith and Mr. Philip Gray. Hi. Now, Wendy, if I may call you Wendy. Please. Thank you. From Winterbourne near Newbury in Berkshire, a lovely county, you're addicted to science fiction. Well, you've got to say addicted. I mean, you can't say you just read it, can you? No, that's true. Could you help us? Because as it all appear at Yorkshire TV, there's been a, a question we're puzzling, you know, and we wonder if you could give us the answer, being an expert on science mm -hmm. fiction. Is the life on Geoffrey Wheeler? <laughs> <laughs> You were a settler in post-war Kenya. Oh, yes, good. It was super there, but I well, can't stay there forever. I'm sure not. Welcome home. <laughs> now, Philip, I'll speak to you from Prescott in Merseyside. You all right then, uh, I see you. Yeah. Right. All right there, lad. <laughs> and uh, I'll see thee. Now then, you've, uh, <laughs> you've got a degree in French and you work for a fiberglass works. That's correct, I yes. see. Do you make French windows? <laughs> oh, oh, oh! Is that the one? <laughs> And you're rather keen on bridge. I have played the occasional hand, yes. Yes, I like that, I like that one. You know, is it Mr Bun the Baker and, and Mrs <laughs> Bun and, and Bobby the Policeman? They're my games. Anyway, it's nice to have you on the show. You've got £50 each. The first round is just for fun to see who goes forward to tonight's final. Would you like to take your seats and the best of luck. Play well. And behind there, of course, is my dear pal Geoffrey Wheeler, who devised the show and he's got the first question. Thank you, Jim. Here it is. Which of the following starred in the film Never on Sunday? Tuesday Weld, Sheffield Wednesday, <laughs> Melina Mercury, Sweet Thursday, Man Friday, or Mary Whitehouse? <laughs> of whom it was once said. Now then, Wendy, £50 you have, my dear. How much of that would you like to gamble? 50 please. 50 and 50 again. 50 for you as well, Philip. The best of luck. Will you make your bets now on the six buttons at the side? And they've gone for that beautiful Greek actress and wonderful actress, Melina Mercuri. And, of course, they're right to do so. Well done. <laughs> and the second question, please. Where is George Ferris's name best remembered? Is it in a kitchen, a hospital, a fairground... A greenhouse, a coal mine, or a printing press? £200 you have, uh, Wendy. How much of that would you like to gamble? Up to 50 50 please. 50 which will leave you with 150 And the same to you, Philip. And 50 again. Which will leave you with 150 Will you please make your bets now? They both have the three-to-one shot. Fairground. Well, they both probably had a ride on a Ferris wheel. And they're right. Well done, my friends. The third question, Geoffrey, please. This is the music question, Jim, where they like to listen carefully and tell us, if they can, what is the name of this waltz. Here's the music. What is the name of that waltz? Is it The Emperor, Voices of Spring, Morning Papers, The Blue Danube, Roses from the South, or Snowdrops from the North? Right. 
Well, it's very neck and neck here. Wendy, we'll stay with you. £350 you have. Um, I'll go 50. Which will leave you with 300. Philip, you've 350 as well. 50 again. Which will leave you with 300. Will you please make your bets now? We have the Emperor Waltz Evens and uh, three to one morning papers. Oh dear, they're either side of it. It was Voices of Spring. Oh. <laughs> I always thought that was the skaters' waltz. I mean, maybe I'm mistaken. I used to hear it in the ice rinks. Can we have the fourth question, please? Yes. What is the approximate diameter of the planet Earth? Is it 8,000 miles, 20,000 miles, 2,000 miles? 50,000 miles, 100,000 miles, or 1,000 miles? Well, it's still neck and neck with 300 pound. Wendy, will stay with you. How much would you like to gamble this time? It's a real gamble this time. Um, oh, 50. Which will leave you with 250, Philip. You've 300 as well. 50 again. Which will leave you with 250. Will you please make your bets now? They both go for the even money shot, 8,000 miles. Well, the exact figure is 7,920 miles, but of course the nearest is 8,000 miles. They're both right. I must say, a more even game I don't think we've had in the whole series. I don't know if you're guessing, if you're gambling, or if you're kidding me. You're both very, very good, really, aren't you, you rascals? And so is the fellow behind here, because he's got the answers as well. Can we please have the fifth question? Yes, it all depends on this. Who had a famous meeting at Guayaquil in 1822? Was it Livingston and Stanley, Gladstone and Disraeli, Che Guevara and Fidel Castro, Bolivar and San Martin, Laurel and Hardy, or Abbott and Costello? <laughs> Some of my favourites there. £350, Wendy, and this is a very important time. Remembering the person with the most money goes forward to tonight's final. Um, I'd like to bet £50, please. Which will leave you with £300. And Phil? I have to go 50 again. Which please. will leave you with £300. Will you please gamble away and make your bets now, please? They've both gone for the four to one shot, Bolivar and San Martin. Would you believe they are both right? I'm sure they were. <laughs> So we have a tiebreaker ready, Jim, if they are. Well, I'll tell you now, this is the first time on the series we come to a tiebreaker question, and it's like sudden death. The one who gets the answer right goes through. Am I right in saying that, Geoffrey? Absolutely right, Jim. Super. Can we have it, please? So here we are. What is a bitterling? Is it lime juice, a small bird, a crying orphan, a sad story, a small fish, or small beer? Now then, I just have to check on the show, because we haven't had this before. Do they gamble as usual on this question? Yes, they do, but it doesn't count. Thank you. Yes, it's just purely to see who gets it right, of course, and goes forward to tonight's final. I wish you could both go through, because you've both been so good. How much would you like to gamble, Wendy? Um, oh, 50 pounds, of course. 50? 50 pounds again. Will you please make your bets? You two experts. Well, <laughs> they've both gone for the two-to-one shot, a small bird. We're going to have to have another tiebreaker. They're both wrong. <laughs> it is, in fact, small fish. Another tiebreak question, please, Geoffrey. Right, here we are, then. What is the common name for the evergreen Taxus baccata? Is it cedar, Norway spruce, yew, Scots pine, fir, or larch? Well, it's purely hypothetical. I suppose you both may as well have £50 each on. Not that I'm trying to decide for you, of course. <laughs> I know you're going to be right again somehow. Wendy, £50 for you? Yes, please. And Philip, £50 yes, for indeed, you? Yes. Will you please make your bets now? Well, we have a difference of opinion, so I think we might get a winner. We have three to one the you, and ten to one the larch. Why well, do you know what the song says, Jim? It had to be you. Oh. oh. Well, well, 
Oh, what can I say? That was so exciting. The name of the game is Winner Takes All. Wendy, my sincere commiserations, my dear. You played a super game, but Phil, well done with the you question. We'll see you in tonight's final. Can we have our next two contestants, please? Come forward. Mrs. Edna Gibson and Mr. Albert Prescott. Right. Thank you, Welcome yes. to the show. Wasn't that exciting? Beautiful, beautiful. <laughs> I thought we were excited. going to be here for a week or so. Well, Edna, you're from Cottingham, uh, North Humberside, and you've worked many, many years in the educational field. That's right. Shall I tell you I got lots of my education in fields, my dear? <laughs> yes. Yes. Oh, yes. yes. And you organise social activities of the hunt. That's right. Is that the yoiks, uh, tally-ho and all that? Is, ah. But can we not bother with those? I want to do a bit of advertising while I'm here. Oh. See, I'm a widow. Oh. I live on my own. Yes. And I want to advertise for three male lodgers. Oh. One to do with the garden. Yes. One to do with the decorating and one to take me out while the other two are busy. <laughs> well, let's see. So, I always put my friends in. There's Bruce Forsyth, Kenny Lynch and no, me. We'll all be round. <laughs> Take your pick. Now, Albert, you come from Wellingborough, North Hans. Yes, yes. But you're Lancashire-born. Ah. And I understand you used to play the piano, sir. I did, yes, but I can't get it to my mouth now, you know. We're only having one arm, you know. <laughs> I see. Well, it's nice to have you yeah. both on the show. You know uh, the idea. No, I'll just say this. Uh, oh. If you want somebody to take it out whilst you get the other two working, I'll do it. I'm a widower. <laughs> <laughs> I see. What a wonderful show this is. The Lonely Hearts Club. <laughs> yeah. Put me in there, would you? Anyway, would you like to take your seats? The best of luck to both of you. And the loneliest heart of them all, stuck away on his own, Geoffrey <laughs> Weepy Wheeler. Can we have the first question? <laughs> yes. Which of the following is usually credited with the invention of television? Barnes Wallace, Professor Stanley Unwin, Marconi, John Logie Baird, Alexander Graham Bell, or Des O'Connor? <laughs> <laughs> I like it, I like it. Now then, you've uh, £50, my romantic young lady there, Edna. How much would you like to gamble? £50 on the nose. £50 on the nose. Albert. Yeah, 50 quid, yeah. 50 for you. Will you please make your bets by pressing your buttons now, please? And they've both gone for John Logie Bird. And they're both right. <laughs> the second question, please. Who was elected Lady of the English in 1141? Was it Gertrude, Matilda, Eleanor, Hildegard, Margaret, or Isabel? £250 you have, Edna. How much would you like to gamble? 20, please. Which will leave you with 230. Albert, you have the same 250. Um, I'll go 30. Albert, that leaves you with 220. Will you please make your bets now? And they've both gone for the two to one shot, Matilda. And they are both right. Well done. <laughs> the third question, Geoffrey. This is the one with the picture. Have a look at this and tell me which town is at the confluence of the Tweed and Edelston Water? Is it Peebles? Is it Tweedsmuir? Gala Shields, Coldstream, Melrose or Kelso? Right. £310 you have, Albert. How much of that would you like to gamble? Um, 30 again. £30 again, which will leave you with £280. Edna, you've £290. How much would you like to gamble? 30 please. Which will leave you with £260. Will you please make your bets now? We have Tweedsmuir at 2 to 1 and 4 to 1 Coldstream. I'm afraid they're both wrong. It's Peebles. Bad luck. But we will press on with the fourth question, Geoffrey. Here it is. Who would be able to make a blinced bird base? Would it be a stonemason, a Venetian blind maker, an origami expert, a taxidermist, a yoga expert, or a chef? You're just in the lead, Albert, with £280. How much would you like to gamble? Um, 30 again. 30, which will leave you with 250. You've 260, Edna. How much would you like to gamble? 30, please. Which will leave you with 230. Will you please make your bets now? We have stonemason at evens and four to one the taxidermist. I'm afraid, again, they're both wrong. It's a basic fold done by an origami expert. <laughs> <laughs> well, now we come to the fifth and very important question for you. Geoffrey, may we have it? Yes, which Saints' Day is kept on December the 26th 
Is it St. Peter, St. John the Baptist, St. Stephen, St. Nicholas, St. Alban, or St. George? £250, you're just in the lead. Albert, how much would you like to gamble? 50. 50, which will leave you with 200. 50. Which will leave you, Edna, with a 180. Will you please gamble away and make your bets now? They've both gone for the same one. Three to one, St. Stephen. And they are both right. Well done. Well, Edna, I hope you've enjoyed playing the game with us. Yes, I have, thank you. And I you. hope your uh, appeal, your advert for a husband, proves very fruitful for you. I shall be waiting eagerly. <laughs> <laughs> You've been a great sport. Albert, I look forward to seeing you later on in the show. Yes. Well played, sir. Thank We're going to take the break now. See you later for tonight's final of Winner Takes All. <laughs> YTV VTR 2837, when it takes all, part two, take one. Well, welcome back. So what I'm sure is going to be a very interesting final. Albert, I'll speak to you first. Albert Prescott from Wellingborough. You, uh, I see on here they tell me you have lots of hobbies, writing oh. stories and poems. Yes, 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 lovely, beautiful. I'm a m wonderful fellow, me, all together. <laughs> <laughs> Do you have any of your poems printed or anything? No, never, never, no. I'm too good looking for them, that's my trouble, you see. Is that, is that the problem? But what arm and glass and corns and athletes foot, what do you want, blood? <laughs> <laughs> You're a great sport, I yeah, know that. Why not, indeed? Now, Philip Gray, I see in here, very impressed. You have a degree in Arabic. Yes, yes, for my sins, yes. I see. I would think that must be one of the hardest languages to learn to talk. Uh, it has its complications, yes. Um, you have to learn to talk it backwards, you see. Oh, really? <laughs> well, I must say I speak a little Irish, a little Yiddish, and lots of rubbish, but not all, uh, <laughs> not all at once. Well, the best of luck to both of you. I'm sure it's going to be a super final. As you know, you've got £50 each in front of you, gentlemen, and you're playing up, but now it is for the, the readies. Geoffrey Wheeler, the very first question of the final. Who was the Viking who discovered and named Greenland? Was it Will Scarlet, the Black Prince, the Brown Bomber, Alfred the Great, Billy the Kid, or Eric the Red? Right. Well, Philip, you're nearest to me. We'll start with you. How much would you like to gamble? Fifty pounds. Please. Fifty pounds? Fifty. And fifty. Well, a pair of gamblers I've got here. Will you please make your bets now, gentlemen? Well, they've both gone for that great Liverpool supporter, <laughs> Eric the Red. You know, they're both right, Jim. Well done. <laughs> what a start that is. A ten to one. There's 550 quid each in front of you and the controller of Yorkshire Television has fainted. Can we <laughs> please have the second question, please? In which of the six counties are Ballymena, Ballycastle, Ballymoney and Ballyclare? Is it Londonderry, Antrim, Fermanagh, Armagh, Tyrone or County Down? Philip, 550 pounds, sir. You can bet up to 50. 30. 30, which will leave you with £520. Albert, you've the same 550 sir. Mm -hmm. uh, I'll go uh, 40. Which will leave you with £510. Gentlemen, will you make your bets now, please? We have 2 to 1 shot Antrim and 4 to 1 Amar. The correct answer is Antrim. Well, I hope you're as excited at home, and I hope you're playing along at home with tonight's super finalist. Can we have the third question, please? This is one to watch quite closely. It's a film question. 
So have a look at this film, which is of a modern city, but which has within it some very ancient ruins. And what we want to know is which city is it that stands on the site of Tenochtitlan and Talal Tilolco? Is it Mexico City? Is it Bogota? Is it Lima? Is it La Paz? Is it Maracaibo? Or is it the city of New York? Right. Well, Philip, you're 610 pound. You're just in the lead by 100 pound. How much would you like to gamble this time? 40, please. 40 pound. Albert, you 510 pound. How much 40. would you like to gamble? 40, please. 40 as well. Gentlemen, will you please <coughs> make your bets now? They've both gone for the even money shot, Mexico. And they're both right. <laughs> 650 plays 550. And the fourth question. A bit of aeronautical history here. Across which piece of water did Kingsford Smith and Ulm make the first flight in 1928? Was it the Pacific Ocean, the Atlantic Ocean, the English Channel, the Arctic Ocean, the Irish Sea, or the Zyder Zee? A flying question, 650 pound. Because these lads are flying. Philip, would you like to tell us how much would you like to gamble? 40. 40, which will leave you with 610. Albert, you 550. 50. Which will leave you with 500. Gentlemen, will you bet away, please? The even money shot they've both gone for, the Pacific Ocean. And they're both right again. <laughs> well, I say it's uh, 690 pound against Albert 600. He's slowly but surely... Uh, catching up. You both have a great deal of general knowledge. Do you read a lot? Yes, I know. Yes, I think uh, you still maintain a great deal or get most of your knowledge from books. I know I do. Yes, anyway, indeed. this yes. is the very important question for you, lads. It's the last one coming up. Can we have it, Geoffrey, please? Who would have most cause to fear? <coughs> Sarah Tosistus Ulmi. Would it be a zookeeper, a milkman, a probation officer, a forester, a lace maker? or a muffin man? £690. Philip Gray from Prescott, Merseyside. How much would you like to gamble, Phil? 50. 50, which will leave you with 640. You've £600, Albert Prescott. How much would you like to gamble? Well, I'll go 50 now. Which will leave you with 550. The best of luck to both of you on the last question. Will you make your bets now? We have the milkman at two to one and a forester at four to one. Well, since it's the fungus which causes Dutch elm disease, it would be a forester. Well done. Well done. Well done. Well done. second part. We've had lots of great characters on the show, Albert, but you're right up there with the, the best of them. Well, they are. What can you do when you both let water? That's true. <laughs> <laughs> Grow web feet. <laughs> <laughs> Hope you've enjoyed being with us. Very much indeed, yes. I must yes, say, it's been smashing yes, meeting yes, you, yes, mate. Yes, Thanks yes, for yes, playing yes, the game. And yes, Phil, what could I say, but ever so yes, well played, our yes, champion, yes, Philip Gray. Yes, very well. <laughs> well done. Very, very impressed. I thought the last question was, uh, you know, it's... Uh, well, all me, I thought of Elm, so Forrester. Oh, but, uh, only quick, a, only a, quick brain. Only a guess. I thought you might have said it backwards and it might have been a little Arabic touch, you know. <laughs> of course, yes, yes. Well, could. you've won £890. I don't know if you know the rules of the game, but that's yours to take away if you want to. But you can have the chance of coming back and playing it up to a thousand, which uh, I'm not to give you any help or persuasion. <laughs> I mustn't do that. But uh, knowing that if you did come back and lose, you'd forfeit the 890 and just get a hundred pound consolation prize. But you've ten seconds to make your mind up. Well, I've thoroughly enjoyed myself this evening, and obviously there's no uh, question about it. Uh, I'll take the 890. I'd take the money and run. <laughs> well played. Thank Super you. game. See you all next week with Winner Takes All. Bad luck, Albert. Very well played.